welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Robin and I do sewing and crafting tutorials. But today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful heart pillows made out of an old quilt. This, this quilt has a lot of holes in it and a lot of stains. So I'm just going to cut around those and use this beautiful fabric to make a beautiful heart pillow. And I actually wrote a poem. So I want to share that with you guys. So I wrote a poem and I'm going to read it to you now. It's called, the title is called Heart of Love. Here's a hug from me to you for when you're feeling sad and blue. When I can't be there in person to hug you, hug this heart and remember I love you. So I thought that would be a cute little quote to put with this little heart pillow. Would make a great gift for anyone. So let's get started and I'll show you just how easy this is. Okay, to get started, I cut two hearts out of some scraps from an old quilt. It has the backing and batting already there. So what I did was, was draw half of a heart on some wrapping paper. And then I traced it onto this plastic that I got from Dollar Tree. You know, those plastic cutting mats you can get at Dollar Tree. And I drew that out and cut out my heart. And then I folded the um, quilt my quilt fabric in half like this and and then traced it and then I cut it out with my pinking shears and so you have you should have two hearts you can make this whatever size you want my heart is about 11 and a half inches wide and now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put wrong sides together so wrong side and I think I want this to be the back of the heart so I'm going to make this the wrong side to wrong side so the pretty sides are out this will be the back of my pillow and this will be the front of my pillow so I'm just going to put wrong sides together and then I'm going to put some pins in it And I'm going to leave an opening right here on this side. So I'm going to put my pin sideways to remind me to not sew right here. And I'm going to, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can have plenty of room to stuff this. My hand can fit in there to, to stuff this with some batting. You'll need some, some fiber fill to stuff this with. And now we're going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to start stitching right here go all the way around stopping right here and then we're going to come back and fill this with batting so let's head to the sewing machine okay i'm going to line my foot up here starting with that needle take that out and i'm going to line the fabric up with the side of my foot and i'm going to move my needle All the way to the left so I can have a half inch seam allowance. I'm going to do a back stitch or a fixed stitch and start sewing. And I'm going to do needle stop down so when I get to this this corner I can pivot and turn. Let's see a little bit more. And then sew this right to the middle of the center of the heart. Stop, pivot, and turn. See if that's one more stitch. I think. There. And now work our way back up. Needle, we're going to stop and do a fixed stitch or a back stitch right here and then head to the cutting table to put the batting in. Okay, now I'm going to use this polyfill fiber fill. Now that we finished sewing our heart all the way around, we have our space here that we're going to use to stuff our heart. So just take some 
fiber fill and start filling it all the way at the, the furthest part and work your way toward the opening. And I like to fluff it a little bit before I put it in. And you don't want to overstuff it. You want it to be nice and soft. If you fill it too full, then it's really hard. It's not as, as cush, not as soft. When you have it full to where you want it now we're going to take and just pin this and now take it back to the sewing machine doing your half inch seam allowance starting where you left off here and just sew and meet where you started right there and then I'm gonna show you a poem that I wrote that you can attach to this and give it as a gift. Let's head to the sewing machine. Okay, to sew up this side, you're gonna to have to kind of squish your heart down to get it up under here. And we're gonna start sewing where we finish sewing right there. Let's line up our needle with that stitch. Like that. Press your foot down. Do a fixed stitch or a back stitch and just sew down to meet the other stitches where you started. And I am pressing down on this heart right here to make it easier to stitch. Got that needle. Stitches, and now I'm going to do a fixed stitch, and we're done. Let's meet back at the cutting table, and I'll show you how to do the poem. I took one of these pins and attached my poem on a on a gift tag, and attached it to the pillow. I just took some some cardstock, pink cardstock, and printed my poem, and then I took my um, big shot and used one of my tag dies to cut out this little die, and then added some um, embroidery thread and attached it to the pillow. And then I have another idea I wanna show you. Okay, while well, making this pillow, I came up with another idea. Let me show you. I took my pattern for the heart and I drew a line, if you can see this, I drew a line right across here. About, let's see, I did mine about seven inches from the bottom and about um, three and three quarters inch from the top. But you could just basically just eyeball it because I'm going to create a pocket either on the front or the back of my pillow. So I just wanted to draw a line right here so that it'll fit on the heart. And so I wouldn't have to do a seam for, for the pocket. I just cut it on the edge of the quilt. So I took the quilt on the edge of the, where the binding is and folded it in half like this. And I lined this up on this on the folded edge. And then I knew this was going to be the top where I wanted the top of my pocket and then I just cut and then I just cut this off like that. So now before we sew these together, I'm going to decide which one do I want to have the pocket. This one or this one or we could do like that. I'm going to I cut this a little too big. I'll just trim that off. But I think I think I want this to be the the back and this will be the front and I think I'm going to do the pocket in the front of my 
I think I want my pocket to be on the front of the pillow. So I'm going to, before I sew these together, I'm going to go sew this pocket to the front of my pillow. And I need to just turn this over and trim this excess off. I cut a little bit too big right there. Just trim this off like that. And trim this off just a little. Got, I have this lined up and Gonna put a pin and I'm just gonna go sew a half inch seam going here to here okay now if you didn't have an, an edge like this that's already finished for the top of your pocket you could just do a double fold him just fold it twice and, and hem it and then add it to your pillow and sew up the sides so we're going to start here right here at the top of the pocket and do a half inch seam allowance do a fixed stitch or a back stitch and we're just going to sew all the way around the pocket and i'm going to do needle stop down so it's easier to turn the curves in the in the corners Got to do a half inch seam. Well, I'm just gonna do that. To the edge and do a fixed stitch, and we're done. And before you sew your hearts up and you, you use the friction pin to draw your lines, make sure you go ahead and iron that to remove those markings before you sew it, because it'll be harder to iron once you make the pillow. Okay, I finished sewing the pocket on to the front of the pillow, to the front side of the pillow. And all I did was just lay it down and sew right here to here and up to here. And now this is the right side of the front and this is the right side of the back. So I'm gonna put wrong sides together, wrong side, wrong side together. Cause we're gonna leave the raw edge on our pillow to make it kind of shabby chic and farmhouse look. I'm just gonna pin this together. And I'm gonna leave a space here for turning. Right there, and right there. Okay, no sewing between here and here. We're going to start here. We're going to, I'm going to follow the same stitching line that I did the pocket to stay right on that line and follow it all the way around and stopping here. And then we're going to stuff it like the other pillow and I'll be right back. You've already saw me sew the other pillow. So it's the same thing. We're going to start here, but we're just going to stay on the stitching line of the pocket. So it, it, it only has one seam, not two. So I'll be right back. Okay, I finished sewing wrong sides together and we left our opening right here to be able to stuff our pillow. And here's our pocket. So let's stuff that pillow. Okay, now I'm gonna take this over and sew up this seam right on the same seam that we sewed the pocket on. Just put a few pins in there to hold it in place. Okay, head to the sewing machine. I'll sew this up and be right back to show you how to accessorize that pocket. Okay, here's the first one I made. And here's one with a pocket. You could put some flowers in it like that, or you could take those out and put a Valentine's card in here with a little gift like that. Tell me in the comments below what you would put in the pocket. We're all done. Didn't they come out really quick and easy? I just love them. I just love the print on this quilt. It's so pretty and these pillows are so soft. And here's the one with the pocket. So cute, 
so quick and easy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a so blessed day. Bye for now.